welcome to Recap Request on Jam Punch. My name is George, and today I'm summarising Resident Evil Extinction, the third recap in my Resident Evil movie series. Thank you to Taha for the request. If you want a quick movie or video game recap, then comment your recap request below. Alice wakes up in a mansion, wanders around dodging obstacles, then gets killed. Scientists appear and take her body to a pile of other Alice clones in a desert facility surrounded by thousands of zombies. The T-Virus is now spread around the entire world, which is now an apocalyptic wasteland. The real Alice travels the southern US trying to survive against bandits and zombies, with her seemingly superior fighting abilities. She finds a diary that claims there's a clean area in Alaska. Dr. Isaacs, the former head of the project that engineered Alice in the first place, wants her recaptured because she is immune to the T-Virus. He tries to persuade the worldwide Umbrella leaders that he can develop a cure from Alice's blood. Albert Wesker, the Umbrella Chairman, refuses her capture and orders Dr. Isaacs to use clones instead. We see more survivors searching for supplies including Claire, Carlos and LJ from the previous movie. LJ secretly gets bitten. Zombie crows attack the group, killing a few of them, but Alice appears and saves them using her telekinetic powers. After seeing the diary Alice found, the group head to Alaska. Dr. Isaac's experiments have developed a breed of zombies that can remember basic human things. Wesker's security officer, Captain Slater, is cynical of Dr. Isaac's loyalty to Umbrella. Wesker asks Slater to kill Isaacs if he falters. Slater is correct, as we see Dr. Isaac send a crate of new zombie breeds to ambush the survivor group. LJ turns to a zombie, bites Carlos, and others die too. Alice finds Dr. Isaacs becoming infected as he tries to escape on a helicopter, which they follow to Umbrella's underground facility. At the facility, Carlos sacrifices himself by driving their truck into the zombies, giving Alice and Claire enough time to load people into an escape helicopter. Slater and his soldiers arrive to find Dr. Isaacs injecting himself with antivirus. Slater shoots him, triggering his mutation into becoming a tyrant monster. As this new monster, Dr. Isaacs kills Slater and other facility personnel. Alice meets the Red Queen's sister AI, the White Queen, who reveals that Alice's blood is the cure. She encounters one of her clones, which immediately dies of shock. She fights Dr. Isaacs, leading him into a laser trap, killing him. Later, in Japan, Wesker informs the rest of the Umbrella leaders that the North American facility is lost. Alice tells him that she's coming for him. If that was a help to you, then please give this video a like and comment your recap request below. I might do it next week, who knows? This is Jam Punch, my name is George, and I'll see you next week.